Welcome to our lesson of the day. This is Essential Major Chords. So I want to take a second and thank you for being here. We may have some new people joining us today. So today is just our daily ukulele lesson that we do. And these are all shot from my iPhone and here from my home studio. So you may hear a little noise in the background like a couple twin babies. But we're going to have a good time anyways. I'm going to check my uh, feed here. Just want to make sure that I'm doing everything okay. As we've been known to uh, not do everything okay. So make sure our audio is there. Make sure our video is there. Uh -uh. Hey, all right. There I am. And Carol's checking in from France. Yeah, this is a good time for... Good time for uh, uh, you in France, I can, I can, I can imagine that. So we're doing a little early today. I'm off my way. I'm getting ready to go. Actually, I just, you can tell I just got out of the shower. We're getting ready to go to Coachella Valley, and there's a big music festival out here, three-day festival called Stagecoach, which is the country version of the Coachella, which is more of the the rock and uh, hip hop festival that just happened the last two weekends. So heading out there with my family. And uh, Dad and I are, are going to that, so it should be exciting. I'll send some pictures and some live video streams from there. And we still do our daily lessons. I'll just be in Palm Desert. So today's lesson is about the essential major chords. And I sent out a link to that where you could download it or if you jumped on the master class. But... The software I'm using is going to allow me to pop this up on the screen. So if you check this out, I can do stuff like this. Voila. Or this. So oh, I want the, the B chords. Take that away. Or this. So this is something new I'm dealing with. So, um... We'll just see how it goes. All right. And hey, Earl, good morning. All right, so let me get that off the screen. Okay, there we are. So today, we're really dealing with only three major chord shapes today, even though I sent out a list that has six, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. <laughs> Seven. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh show you how to understand these chords. And because essentially, if you can get these shapes under your fingers, you can learn how to play any major chord. Not every single one. I know there's there's going to be other ones, but at least the basic shapes that we all see on ukulele. So um, let's just grab some tuning notes. First string, we got A. Second string. E, third string, C, and fourth string, G. I have a low G on this ukulele, but it doesn't matter what you have for this particular lesson. All right, so let's just jump right to the first chord shape. So we're going to be looking at this A chord here. All right, so this is just our traditional standard old A chord. So uh, second finger is on the fourth string, second fret. First fingers on the third string, first fret, open second, and open first. <clears throat> also, let me know if there's any issues with audio or anything like that. Um, okay, now, here's the deal. I'm not going to get crazy into music theory on this right now. I am planning on having a, a separate uh, kind of a webinar later on this. But just understand, we're dealing with triads today. So every chord here is a major triad or major chord, and it's going to have three different notes okay so yes we are going to be playing four strings but each chord is only going to have three different notes okay so for example the a chord is going to be a first finger i'm sorry your a is here on the four string second fret c sharp and e so that's your triad those three notes a c sharp e just trust me on this we'll get to that theory on why that is later and then the first string here is a again so even though we're playing four strings, it's only three different notes, A, C sharp, and E. So understand that about all the chords today are triads. 
Okay, so this is your basic shape of the A, and what you want to remember about this particular chord shape is that your root, which means what names the chord, is right here on your fourth string, second fret. So that's an A note, and notice it's an A chord. And then with this particular shape, you also have a root on the first string. In this case, it's open. Okay, so that's your A chord. And what you want to do is you want to remember that with this particular shape, that you have a root on the fourth string, and your second finger is playing it, and you have a root on the first string. Okay? And so there's your A major. Now, <clears throat> the next chord that we started to talk about is the B chord. So let me throw that up on the screen real quick. Ooh, the nice fade. See that? I like it. All right, so this is the B chord. Now, what I want you to recognize about this chord is that it's exactly the same shape as the A chord, except the A is here using open strings. So this B chord is actually not a new chord. It's just the, the same shape of A, but moved up a couple frets. So going back to what we said about our root being here on the fourth string and also the open first string, if I was to play B, where would I find a B note? So what your job would be is to find a B note here on the fourth string and also to find a B note on the first string. Okay, so where are those notes? And I want to send out a, uh, uh, a sheet, a free gift for you of all the notes on the ukulele um, a little bit later. I didn't have a chance to send it out, but I already created the file and I'll send it out to you. So, if we're here at A, all we have to do is move up one fret to A sharp, B flat. Again, just trust me on this. Don't worry about the theory behind this. And then B would be here on the fourth fret of the fourth string. Okay? So there's B. Now, on the first string, you have open A, first fret is A sharp or B flat, and so B then is on the second fret. So you have, here's your two roots, B on the fourth fret, fourth string, and B on the first string, second fret. All right, so now we're gonna take this A shape again. If we slide these two fingers up, okay, so that's a good start. But now we gotta account for these open strings, right? We just can't leave them open. Although it kind of sounds cool, but it's not the chord we want. So what we gotta do is remember open strings. We move it up one fret, and then we move it up to the second fret. So what we have to do now is take those two open strings and bar them. So now I got a bar with my first finger, strings one and two, at the first fret. And then I gotta slide it up one more fret, because remember our B note is here on the first string, second fret. So there's your B, and now you add your other two fingers. Now notice, when we're playing the A, I was using fingers two and one. So when I play up here, I'm gonna have to change my fingering to third finger on the fourth string, fourth fret. My second finger on the third string, third fret, and then I'm barring strings one and two at the second fret with my first finger. So here's your B chord. And again, this is a triad, so three notes only, and the notes for B are B on the fourth string, D sharp on the third string, F sharp on the second string, and then we have another B here. But like I said, I want you to know that this is exactly the same shape as this, except it's just moved up two frets. So it's essentially the same chord because A, if I move this shape up one fret, B, A sharp or B flat, and then B, okay? So now, this one shape, if you learn all the notes on this fourth string, or all the notes on the first string, you could just move this shape around. So it's B here on the fourth fret. I don't have diagram for every one of these. If I moved it up one more fret, we would have C. Again, we're judging whatever this, root is here on the fourth string or whatever this finger is on the first string. I move it up again, I got C sharp, D flat. I move it up again. I got E. Wait, where am I? C sharp, D. Move it up again. So now my first finger is on the eighth fret. I got D sharp or E flat. 
Move it up again. Now my fourth finger is on the ninth fret. My first finger is on the first string seventh fret. I got E. Move it up again. I got F. Move it up again. F sharp or G flat. I move it up again. Ooh, it's getting high. I got G. Right, because we're on the 12th fret with my on the fourth string. Move it up again. I'm getting tied up here. G sharp or A flat. And then guess what? When I get all the way up here, ooh, there it is. When I get all the way up here, my third finger on the fourth string, 14th fret, I have the same chord, A, except it's up an octave. It's a hard shape. There it is. All right, so just remember that this A and this B are exactly the same shape, and you can just slide it up and down the ukulele neck, okay? All right, let's move on. I know this is a lot. Sometimes this may even take a while to sink in. Like we may have to have several discussions on this. So don't worry about that. All right. The next chord, I'm just going alphabetically here, is C. Now this is a different voicing of C. Because remember, if we were here that that B chord, we could just play C by moving it up one fret, which would be third finger would be on the fourth string fifth fret. But I want to show you a different voicing now for the C chord. And this is your like, this is probably C chord 101, right? When you first pick up the ukulele, this is like, hey, check this out. You can play a chord, all you need is one finger. <clears throat> and so all you have to do for the C chord, right, is open fourth string, open third, open second, and then your third finger on the first string, third fret. And there's your C chord. My voice is a little harsh today. We had a long rehearsal last night, so lots of singing, and, and I had a long day of teaching, so didn't get home till late, woke up early, so I, you know, little, little sore, so I apologize for that. All right, so this is another shape. So now this is your third chord, but only your second shape, and we need to remember this. So now, this C triad, let's talk about the notes. We got open G, C, and E. And then your first string is just C again, right? So only three notes. So the root of the chord is C. So your roots here are here at the third string. In this case, it's open. And, and then the uh, first string, third fret, is also a C. So you have a root here on the third string and a root here on the first string, third fret. I got a quick question from uh, Sion about uh, ukulele lesson for left hand. You know what's funny, if we do the Facebook Live videos and I switch around the camera, it'll actually show me playing left-handed. Um, I don't, but what I could do for you, Sion, if you want, um, is I'll make you a chord chart for left-handed if that would be easier for you to read. So just either message me here on Facebook privately or uh, you can email me at terry at youlikethepros.com. All right, back to our C chord. So, This shape can also be moved up. And so what I want you to get out of this shape is where the roots are. And again, the roots are on the open third string and the first string, in this case, third fret. So now, if I move this shape up one fret, that means my third finger's gotta go up one fret. So now it's on the first string, fourth fret. And then these three open strings on the fourth, third, and second, have to move up also, right? So now instead of being open, you have to get them all on the first fret. And the only way to do that is to bar it. So I'm barring strings four, three, and two here at the first fret. And then, instead of using my third finger, I'm gonna use my pinky, and it's gonna stay here on the first string, fourth fret. And so now, here's that same chord shape as your C, but now moved up, to use no open strings. And this chord would be called, well, it's gonna be called whatever this note is here on the third string first fret, or whatever this note is on the first string fourth fret. And again, that note, or just trust me, and I'll send out the sheet later, I'm sorry I didn't send it out earlier, now I wish I did, but I'll, I'll send it out to you, is the 
C sharp or D flat. So this chord right here is either called C sharp or D flat, as opposed to this chord, which is on the screen, which is just called C. Okay? So now we have C sharp or D flat. If we just take this entire shape, I'll get those fingers out of the way and just slide it up. Now I'm barring the second string, I'm sorry, the second fret, all four strings, and my pinky's on the first string, fifth fret, that is, well, if this was C sharp or D flat, this is D. Move it up again. Now I'm barring the third string, sorry, third fret. I got D sharp or E flat. Move it up one more fret. I got E. <laughs> Move it up one more fret. F, and again, where's my roots? Right here. Third string, now at the fifth fret, and first string now at the eighth fret. And if you look at your ukulele neck notes that I'll send out to you later, you would recognize those are both F notes. Slide it up again. We got, well, F sharp or G flat, and again, F sharp or G flat, that's just an octave apart. We got F sharp major or G flat major. Move it up again. G major. G sharp major. A major, A sharp or B flat major, B major, and notice this, oh, got it, C major, which is the same as C major here, except it's up an octave. It's kind of a hard chord to grab, high up. All right, so now you got two chord shapes. You got this basic A shape, you got this basic C shape. Okay? Got it? We good? All right, I see no questions, so all right. Let's move on then. Moving up alphabetically, we have D is our next chord. <clears throat> now, this chord is very similar to the one we just played. It's got a slight variation, so let me talk about that. And so the way I do my D chord here is I do it slightly different. I bar strings four and three with my first finger at the second fret, so I lay it flat. Then I add my second finger here to the second string, second fret, and then I play my open first string, D major. Now this is also a triad and the notes here are well let me go in order d here on the third string second fret f sharp here on the second string second fret and a either here on the fourth string second fret or first string open so there's your d chord now don't you remember let's go back to the c chord shape real quick let me throw that up on the screen So remember this shape, and remember when we moved it up to the second fret, we had D, right? We had C, C sharp, or D flat, and then we had D. And well now I'm showing you this same chord except I'm doing this. So I'm essentially playing, let me get that up on the screen. So I'm essentially playing second fret the same. Except instead of having my pinky here on the first string, fifth fret, I'm just playing it open. And so what that does is instead of giving you, when we do this shape, you have a root here, D, and a root here, D, you have two D notes, or two roots. When I do it this way, I only have one root, D, and now I have two A's. So essentially this is the same shape as a C, except we're just changing the first string instead of here, we're just changing it here, okay? <clears throat> I don't know about you, but this is like fascinating stuff for me. It's like ukulele nerd 101 stuff, so. <clears throat> All right, so this is your D chord. Now, your root here is, again, on your third string, second fret. So if I move this shape up now, well, it's kind of cool. It's kind of a Spanish sound, right? If I move this up now to the second fret, so now I'm barring strings four, three, and two, but I'm at the third fret. 
Well, I can't leave this first string open. I mean, I can. Kind of sounds cool. But I gotta account for, remember, the D chord had an open string. So now if I move these fingers up one fret, I also have to move the open string up one fret. And so now I have to change my fingering slightly. Okay, so instead of doing one, one, two, like the D chord, I'm gonna do my second finger now on the fourth string, third fret, and it's gonna bar also the third string, third fret. Then my third finger is gonna be on the second string, third fret, and then my first finger is gonna be on the first string, first fret. I have a diagram for the next chord shape, so bear with me here. So this is now, instead of D major here as a second fret, I'm playing D sharp or E flat major. And if I just take this shape and move it up again, I have E. Well, why E? Because whatever this note is on the third string is E. So check this out. Let me throw this up for you. So there's your E shape. All right? And some of you may finger it differently. Some of you may finger it uh, second finger, third finger, and fourth finger, and then first finger. It's kind of awkward for me. I can do it, as you can hear, but it's awkward for me to grab it, so I do it like this. Okay? So we got D. Sharper E flat, now E. Slide up one more fret, we got. Well, again, whatever this note is here on the third string, fifth fret, in this case it's F. Slide it up again, we got F sharper G flat. Slide it up again, we got G. Slide it up again, so now I'm at my first fingers on the sixth fret. My other fingers are on the eighth fret. I got G sharp, A flat. Side up again, A. Side up again, A sharp, B flat. <laughs> Side up again, B. I don't know if I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have to, I don't know if I can play high with these fingerings. Oh, C. C sharp. Come on, fingers. Kind of. D and my ukulele kind of goes out of tune out there. And it's the same as our D right there. That's just kind of not going to be played a whole lot, that D up there. So anyway, now we have what? what? We've done the A chord, the B chord, the C chord, the D chord, and the E chord. Five chords and basically only two shapes. Isn't that interesting? Two shapes. This shape and basically this shape or this shape, which is basically the same exact shape. All right, fascinating. All right, now, the next two chords are gonna present hmm, Hold on, why aren't you going over there? Okay, the next two chords, which is the F chord and the G chord, are gonna present the third and final shape that we're gonna be dealing with today. Okay, I'm trying to get that F on the thing. Why are you not flipping? There we go, nope. Okay, preview. Why are you not switching? All right, so now it's deciding it doesn't want to switch. Okay, so give me one more second here. F. The buttons are so close together that my preview, why are you not going over? Oh, it did show up. Aye, 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 there you go. All right, back to work here. All right, our F chord. This is a new shape. And so what I'm doing here is I'm, my second finger's on the fourth string, second fret, open third string. My first finger's on the second string, first fret, and open first string. And there's our F chord. Now, where is the root in this chord? So F, the notes are F, A, and C. Trust me on that. And so where is your F note when you play this shape? Well, it's not here, because that's A. It's not there, open third string, because that's C. It's not your first string, because that's A, so your F is right here on the second string, first fret. So there's your root for this chord. So anytime you play this F chord, your root is right there on the second string, first fret. Now, can I just slide the shape up once? Eee. Notice what happens is these open strings don't sound all that great, so F, Slide it up. 
I gotta account for the open strings. I can't just slide these two fingers up without moving the open strings up. So, what I have to do now is I move these two fingers up, and now for the open strings, I would have to move them to the first fret. That's gonna change my fingering. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bar the first fret at strings one, okay? And strings one and three, although I gotta bar the second string also because that's just the way it is. And now I'm going to add my second finger to the second string, second fret, and my third finger to the fourth string, third fret. So there's F, right? It's the I'm sorry, this is F sharp. Same as this, that everything moved up one fret higher. And now this chord would be called F sharp or G flat. So it would be called whatever this note is here on the second string, second fret, which is F sharp or G flat. So you got F here in the open position. You got F sharp or G flat here. Then if I move it up again, I got G, because G notes right here on the second string, third fret. Move it up again, I got G sharp, A flat. Move it up again, I got A. So notice, here's an A chord. A chord, A chord, different voicing. So now, when you see an A chord in a chart, you have an option. You could play this A chord, you could play this A chord. And let's just spe specify exactly which one they want. It's totally up to you which, which one you want to play. Okay, and again, A is here on the second string, fifth fret. Move it up one more fret. I got A sharp or B flat. Move it up one more fret. B. Move it up one more fret. So now I'm barring here at the seventh fret. I got C because there's my C note, second string, eighth fret. Move it up one more. I got C sharp or D flat. Move it up again. D. I'm barring now at the ninth fret. Move it up again. D sharp. Move it up again. Ah, it's tough for me. E. Move it up one last fret. So now if I'm barring at the twelfth fret, I got that. Ah, not sounding good. F, which is the same as the F down here. I need to get a capo. That would be easier. Okay. So here's your basically your third and final shape, and I'll explain that in a second. Okay, so your F. Now this next chord, which is one of our probably more popular chords on ukulele, which is our G chord. The cowboy G chord. Open fourth string. First finger on third string, second fret third finger on the second string, third fret, and then my second finger on the first string, second fret. G. Now, we've already learned this shape. Go back to the F, F sharp, G. G here is the same as this G. Except for we did one thing. Remember when we did the D chord like this, and the D chord like this? Same shape, just adding, changing one note. We're same thing here. The G chord here that we learned, which is like in the F shape, Excuse me. But now all we're essentially doing is taking off our third finger and using open string. We have a G chord. That's it. Have to change our fingering, but it's the same shape. Okay? So, <coughs> where are our roots for this chord? Well, we have a root here, open four string. Either low G or high G, doesn't matter, still G. And we have a root here on the second string. Third fret. So now when we move this chord up, whatever note either that is or the fourth string, that's gonna be the name of it. So if we move this chord up one fret, again, open string. We can't just leave that open string unless you want. Kind of a drone sound, which kind of sounds cool. So now I gotta, if I'm gonna move this three fingers up one fret, I gotta move this open string up one fret. So now my first finger is on the first fret of this fourth string and I have to now change my fingering to make this work. And so now look at this finger, it's kinda awkward. 
My second finger is on the third string, third fret. My third finger is on the first string, third fret. And then my pinky is here on the second string, fourth fret. Now, it's the same as this shape right here, except I got to finger it differently so I can grab this bass note up here. All right, so there's your G shape, and then add this. So what note is this? Or this, G sharp, A flat. Move it up. We got A. Because A is here on the fourth string, second fret. A is here on the second string, fifth fret. Move it up again. A sharp, B flat. Move it up again. B. Move it up again. Where am I? C. Lost track there. Move it up again. C sharp or D flat. Move it up again. D. D sharp, B flat. E. Move it up. F. Move it up. F sharp, G flat, and move it up, and we're back to G and G. So we did A. Let me take this off the screen. We did A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We did seven chord shapes, but really, all those chord shapes can be combined into really three basic shapes. The A shape, which has your root on the fourth string and first string, the C shape, which has your root on the third string and the first string. And then your either F shape or your G shape, remember it's basically the same shape, that has your root either on the fourth string or the second string. Now, I know that's a lot. It's a lot to process. You may need to watch this video again or we're going to have other discussions on it before it really sinks in. That's the way music is. And that's why it's great we can play it till we, you know, well, we can play music until until the very end. So that's great. Um, so just, you know, understand, even if you grab a little bite, even if you grab one little thing today that I said in this pretty long-winded video, um, that'd be great. And just make sure you understand these shapes because we also can do the same thing for the minor chords, dominant chords, minor seven chords, major seven chords, Right? All the different chord shapes, we could do exactly the same thing. So this is just step one. So uh, I don't see any questions. So thank you again for being here. Thank you for uh, you know your comments and all your support. I will see you next time from the Palm Desert. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you then.